Barcelona was founded in 1899 in the capital city of Catalonia. It came into existence three years before Real Madrid. On May 6, 1902, Madrid Football Club was formed in the national capital, which is now known as Real Madrid. Just seven days after Madrid were founded, that is 13 May 1902, the first meeting between Barca and the club that would become Real took place. The clubs met in the Copa de la Corona Cian a four-team tournament in honor of the rise to power of Alfonso XIII. Copa de la Corona Cian is today known as Copa del Rey. Madrid lost 3-1 in the semifinals of the tournament to the Catalans. Over the next 15 years the teams met nine times. Madrid went winless in those nine matches. It wasn't until the 1916 Copa del Rey, when Madrid won 4-1 in the second leg of the semifinals, that they finally defeated the Blagrana for the first time. The next match was a draw of 6-6 at Barcelona's home, and Madrid beat Barcelona 4-2 in the second leg as Madrid went unbeaten three in a row. The good times wouldn't last. Barcelona went undefeated in 13 straight matches between 1917 and 1927. Prior to the formation of the National League in 1929, during this period of Catalan dominance, Madrid Football Club was named Real Madrid. After receiving the royal designation from Alfonso XIII in 1920, moving on to 1929, La Liga came into existence. Over the early years of league leading up to the Spanish Civil War, Real Madrid suddenly had few answers. The Catalan side notched only three wins against five draws and 11 losses between 1929 and 1936, and then the war broke out and La Liga was suspended. The passion behind El Clasico has its roots outside of soccer. It is in the political and cultural affairs of Spain in the mid-20th century that the derby truly established itself with the fire and emotion, befitting of being one of the greatest in all-time sports. During the Spanish Civil War starting from 1936 to 1939, the political climate worsened. Supporting a football club became more than watching a match and wearing a jersey. It became a way to express one's ideas and beliefs about the world to do so alongside a group of like-minded people, rallying behind the colors and crests of an organization you believe in. Thus, supporting Real Madrid or Barcelona was just supporting a soccer team. It was identifying with a full-fledged political and cultural movement. What it meant to people the time extended itself beyond a 90-minute fixture between white lines and goal posts. To clarify, Let's explain the political side of the Spanish War. Barcelona, the capital of the northeastern region of Spain known as Catalonia, took up a side with the Spanish Republic, a left-leaning political organization supporting an elected government in opposition to the city of Madrid, who came to be associated with the nationalist movement a unified Spain under one Spanish flag and right-wing ideals. Barcelona the football club had come to represent not just a soccer and sporting organization, but a symbol of Catalan identity opposing the centralizing tendencies of Madrid. But the war didn't take a good turn for Barcelona, and hence the Catalan identity and ideology became increasingly censored and suppressed. Once Franco consolidated power over Spain, fortunes continued to turn in favor of Real Madrid. Things first came to a head in El Clasico when the two rivals met in 1943 in the semifinals of the Copa del Rey. After losing 3-0 in Barcelona, Real Madrid turned around and routed their rivals in the second leg of the semifinals, winning 11-1 in the capital. The atmosphere was charged. Madrid went up quickly, with the crowd and the officiating all going in their favor, and by halftime they were up 8-0. This was the match that sparked the rivalry in earnest. As backup Barcelona goalkeeper Fernando Orgilla said about the match, there was no rivalry, not at least until that game. The enmity grew further in the 1950s when Real Madrid poached Alfredo Di Stefano from Barcelona, after the Argentinian star originally signed to play in Catalonia. Winners of the first five European Cups between 1956 and 1960, Real took down Barcelona on the way to their fifth European crown. The two clubs met again in 1961, as Barcelona became the first club to knock Real Madrid out of the annual tournament. It was during the tail end of the Franco era in 1968 that Narciss de Carras, the 32nd president of Barcelona, voiced the words that would become the club's rallying cry and slogan, Mesquet un club, which means more than a club. Barcelona's colors and crest became interchangeable symbols of Catalan pride and identity, at the same time that the rivalry escalated further. 
Once Franco was out of the picture, Barcelona were free to fully embrace its international appeal. The process actually began a few years before Franco's death in 1975, when Johan Cruyff transferred from AX to Barcelona. The Blagrana eventually came to play a modified version of the total football that had launched the Netherlands to the forefront of tactical evolution in the 1970s. Cruyff, first as a player and later as a manager at Barcelona between 1988 and 1996, and introduced the era of Tiki Taka that turned Barca into a possession machine. Real Madrid, during this period, found themselves falling behind until a new homegrown cohort that came to be known as La Quinta del Buter emerged from the youth academy. That group restored Real to the top of the league in 1986 and went on to win five straight domestic titles. Barcelona took over the top of the table in 1991 and went on to win their first Champions League title in 1992. Real Madrid followed suit as they won three European titles in 1998, 2000 and 2002. In the midst of Real's return to the pinnacle of European soccer, Luis Figo shifted sides from Barcelona to Madrid in a reprisal of the Alfredo Di Stefano incident nearly a half century earlier. Figo, thanks to a bet with Real Madrid president Florentino Perez, switched loyalties. In the process, he became an outcast in Catalonia and a savior in the capital. The 21st century has seen both clubs rise to the top of the sport. Real Madrid and Barcelona have grown in recent decades into two of the three richest clubs in the world, with each generating more than $750 million in revenue annually. Since the turn of the century, the two Spanish giants have won nine of the 17 Champions League titles. They've also soaked up all but three La Liga titles since 2001, as the duopoly sinks its hooks deeper into the coffers of Spanish soccer. As two of the dominant sides in Europe, Real and Barcelona have become destinations for the world's greatest players. Since Figo's transfer between the two El Clasico rivals in 2000, five of the past six latest world record transfer fees in the new century have involved players either moving to or from a Spanish club. There was nothing that guaranteed El Clasico would turn into the biggest rivalry game in the world. Most rivalries in soccer around the globe are predicated on proximity. Barcelona and Madrid are more than 300 miles apart as the crow flies but they've both been good regularly, and at the same time, and that certainly helps build bad blood between two teams. The combination of a long history of competition against one another, the politics that inevitably come to shape the evolution of particular clubs and fan bases, and the fact that the two clubs have historically been perennial contenders have all played a role in developing the rivalry we now know as El Clasico. Now that you have made it to this minute of the video, please support us by hitting that subscribe button. And if you did like this video, smash the like button too. Until next time, goodbye and take care.